This video is part of the Body Movement series by mental health clinicians from One Common Unity. I'm Ms. Jordan from Thurgood Marshall Academy. I'm Ms. Ashlyn and I'm with Whittier Education Campus. I'm Ms. Rachel and I'm with Paul Public Charter High School. These videos were created as a loose guide that you can follow along with, but we encourage you to do things in a way that feels best for you. Everybody's body is different and has different needs. So we encourage you to listen to your body. At any time, you can take a look at any of us to see a slightly different version. If you're unfamiliar with embodiment practice, we invite you to check out the two minute intro video explaining. This practice will focus on self holds, which can help us regulate our nervous system when we are experiencing stress. Our bodies carry so much stress and or trauma from the hustle and bustle of our lives and our past experiences. This is an opportunity to notice and honor all that our bodies are capable of carrying. So I invite you to find a comfortable position, either seated, standing, making slight movements to feel adjusted in your space, noticing the places where your body feels supported. This could include your legs against a chair, your back against a cushion, your feet against the floor. I invite you to bring attention to your breath, noticing where your breath is sitting in your body at this moment. Perhaps you notice it in your throat, in your chest, your belly, across your back. No need to adjust or change. Just notice where your body is directing your breath at this moment. We will be moving through four self holds, taking two deep breaths at each hold. For the first hold, I invite you to place your right hand across the right side of your face and your left hand across the left side of your face. I invite you to take two deep breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Now I invite you to place your right hand across your forehead and your left hand across the back of your neck. Again, taking two deep breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth. In through the nose and out through the mouth. Now I invite you to move your right hand from your forehead down onto your chest, keeping your left hand across the back of the neck. Breathe at your own pace. Again, in through the nose and out through the mouth. Now for our final hold, I invite you to move your left hand from the back of your neck and onto your belly, keeping your right hand across the chest. Let's take two final deep breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth. And to close this practice, I invite you to bring your hands back to the self hold that your body most needs at this time. Notice the sensations where your hands touch your skin. Do they feel warm, cold? Can you feel your hands supporting you? Do you need more pressure from your hands or less? Make adjustments based on what you need in this moment. And I 
I invite you to take deep breaths into the places where your hands are touching. One more big deep breath. Again, now I invite you to repeat in your head the following phrase. Just because I carry it well doesn't mean it isn't heavy. Again, just because I carry this stress or tension or trauma well doesn't mean it isn't heavy. Take one last full body breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. And as we close, I invite you to rest your hands in your lap, taking one final moment to thank your body for all that it is capable of carrying. <laughs>